left as well, but starting with the 1083. All right, so the 50 is moving, not very easily. Those of you guys who don't know, my name is Ron Schrader. My uncle who owns our farming operation, Hartung Family Farms. And on the channel, you'll also see my two cousins as well. If you guys do enjoy my content in this video, be sure to hit, hit that like button. Leave a comment if you guys have any questions. And if you guys don't mind, subscribe. It mean the world to me. Also, if we get 2,000 likes on this video, I will take a bite out of one of the ration that we give to our cattle. Oh, what did I just get myself into? Well, guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. Today, I'm just leaving my house. Let's go. All right, I'm at the farm right now. Got the cows, it's about 42 degrees right now. It's overcast, it's supposed to get up to like 52 or something today, but uh, it's got a long way to go. But anyway, we are cleaning the 2588 right now. Brian and Nathan are soaping and washing it right now. And I'm not quite sure what I, what else is gonna be going on today, but I know we're gonna be try and shuffle a bunch of equipment around and finally clean the combines and not sure what else, we'll, we'll go find out. All right, Pat and I are gonna fill the, the hay wagon. Well, there's the 2588, just about all cleaned up. Nathan and Brian have been doing a good job with that. So Pat's gonna take the SV280 skid loader and I'm in our red pickup right now. I'm gonna pull this out back and I'm gonna do my best to try and uh, maneuver this thing back there as far as I can without getting stuck. Wish me luck, because I will probably need it. How am I getting out? How would I get out though? Uh, once you have to turn that way to the right or not? It's a little sloppy. How uh, would I get? I want to do something this way and then turn back straight up. Hopefully, we're going to do it that way. How about, I, how about I just go that way right now while I'm empty? Yeah, let me dump this and then you can. All right. So what we're doing here, this feed cart, we take it down to our heifers that are gonna be birthing here in a little bit. Just kind of gets them a good ration of feed. So we put, so on top of these, we'll actually put two uh, wet bales and a dry bale in here as well. So they'll have actually about a good meal, basically. Just about what we feed our, what we ration to our feeder cattle. So we're gonna fill this up, take this down to Pat's place, finish washing the combine, and then head back and go get something to eat. Alrighty, so we got this thing full. One bucket of earlage, two buckets of silage from the pile that we packed back ooh, back in August. So check that out right now if you're curious. So I'll probably put some wet bales in them, some good silage bales. And head up and go get something to eat.
So these are silage bales that we ended up doing. Basically last year was extremely hard to make hay. Two crops of hay on half our, half our ground. So usually you like to do three crops. Basically what we did that we had to bale this wet because it was no choice. So we ended up wrapping it and made some good quality silage bales. There we go. We're gonna leave the points in there so we can go use it down at the skid loader down at Pat's place. All right, so now I'm in the case SV280 skid loader and Nathan's gonna hop on the front with the bucket. We're gonna clean the top of this thing. We're just about done with the 2588 combine. We're gonna set that off to the side. Hopefully bring out the 7088 combine, clean that off today. And maybe if we get lucky, start swapping some equipment around. Move this fall stuff up to the big, up to the cold storage, move the spring stuff down here. We'll see. I also gotta run the sprayer back up to Kuno's. It's gonna have some stuff done to it. Alrighty, all done with the skiddy loader for now. The 450 old Volumeter feeder wagon is not brought back to Wisconsin. I'm not sure why yet, but we'll find out. That 78 combine is next. Man, that thing is dirty. It needs a good bath. Here's the Brent after its nice bath and the Steiger 400. So making progress here. Give us another couple more days of this and maybe, who knows, we might be ready to go. Also, I'm kind of excited. The weather is gonna be perfect next week. Cross the fingers. All right, this combine is done. <whistles> it's looking shiny now. Got a nice and soaped, buffed out. So now we're gonna basically up, go up and eat, put this thing away, let, or put this thing on the side, let it dry. We're also watching some auctions right now. Hopefully going to make a couple big purchases. We've been watching some in the last two weeks, but auction prices have been really strong lately. But we're hoping this one isn't too bad right now. So we'll see. Hey, they got the side-by-side -side running. And look, there's a bunch of six packs of soda in there. Ah, stole Millennial Farmer on that one. <laughs> yeah. Sweet, looks like I can be making some boundaries when it dries up. All right, just got done with lunch and I got my shadow with me right now. What's your name? Amber. Amber. So Amber and I are gonna work on trying to undig the, undig the sprayer. So we're gonna move some equipment around in there and try to get the sprayer out because it's gotta go to Kuno Equipment in Preston. So the 5088's got a tire low right in front of it. So we're gonna take this air bomb because we don't have an air compressor. Fill it up and try and fill up that tire. We do too. Want to hold this? At our house, yeah. We do have one at our house. That my dad got. Oh, he did get one? Mm hmm Scare ya? Yeah. <laughs> Let's head over. Tire. Okay. Just because it's like a black screen, does that mean it turned off? Nope. Okay. If the red light's still blinking. Okay. It's still blinking. <laughs> oh, it's so muddy. Now, where are we going? All right. Now we're going to go. Put this back, talk to Brian, see exactly what we, what we want to do, and then probably start moving equipment because that sprayer has got to go to Kuno's. All right, Amber, stand right here. We're going to fire up the 400, okay? So stand right here. Point at that thing. That? Wait, what? Yep, right there. That's perfect. I have no clue what he's going to do.
we gotta go plug it in. Yep. All right, so we got a new battery charger and we're trying to figure it out. To spend 10 minutes messing with it right now because this battery is absolutely dead. So I think I got it. There's an on off switch or there's a off boost and engine start switch, start button, a couple different buttons in between. I don't know, it's confusing to me. But I think I got it working, so we're gonna let it sit for a half hour and then try it. So I must be doing something right because it says boost mode on. So I'm hoping it's charging right now. We'll see. This baby needs a bath and she's about to get one. Backing out the combine. Wait, right Amber, what do you have to say? I have food in my mouth. You have food in your mouth? Sometimes food. Oh my lord. Brian's moving his head out. 7088 and the head. This thing is dirty. Doing some washing right now, ladies and gents. Washing the old 1083 corn head. It's not too bad. But like I said, we got the 2588. That is for sale, by the way. If anyone wants to inquire, email us. 7088 and the Cornet Gearing All 12, 12 row is going to get washed as well. But starting with the 1083. Air channel. Washing off the head. So we are currently gonna take the red pick up and pop it to the tractor. What is what does jumping mean, Amber? It means like you take two cords and you hook it on the 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 machine that's running mm -hmm. and then you take it to the other machine that won't start and then you like it you plug it in where it needs to be. Quite told you. And then and then and then it and then you have to wait a little bit and then it starts. Why does hooking onto this battery help that battery? Because it's it's working. This battery is working yeah. and that battery isn't working. That'll work. Nice job. See, we're right now to that. Oh. Huh? On this side. Yeah, so as Amber was saying, we're gonna jump the 5088 because it's not quite charged yet. It's got two batteries on here. One on this side, one on that side. So we're gonna try and jump one of them so we can get it going. It's a washing kind of day today, right Amber? Huh? It's a washing kind of day. Mm -hmm. All right, I gave Miss Amber a camera, so we'll see what footage she can get. <laughs> okay, so apparently my brother Nathan is stooping. He's brushing off his head. We're gonna try and start this thing up, Amber. All right, see if it'll work. Okay, so Ronald's gonna start this thing up. Let's hope it starts. It's been 10 minutes, around 10 minutes now. We've been waiting. It's it's jumpered to the thing. How does it Not quite. Pick up. No luck. That's too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and flip flop these, see if putting the battery charger in the other one will help it. And then put the jumper cables on the on the one that has the battery charger on it right now. We'll flip flop them. Okay, so Ronald is currently making the charger box. And I'm gonna hook it up over here. Let's hope it starts soon. Okay, so we just moved the pick up. And he just hooked, or er, he's opening up the top now, and we're gonna get it hooked up. All right, let's try it again. <sighs> all right, so they got the side by side running, and look at all these bottles that Amber picked up. Thirty-one. That's a good amount. And look at all these things. There's there's twenty of these big ones and eleven of these small ones. Guys, if you're throwing bottles, especially the big glass bottles along the side of the road, please stop. Yeah. Like for one, you're wasting five cents. For two, that's dangerous. If anybody 
misfortunately finds them or it's unlucky chance, but just please, please, please stop littering. But let's see if this thing will start up. It could crack somebody's tire yeah. in the field. It's an absolute havoc for farmers. Yeah, okay, so currently I am going to be unloading all these bottles and setting them like right over here for my grandma to do. I don't know what she does with them. She's gonna do something. So yeah. All right, well, Amber is setting the bottles up for grandma. I'm gonna check and make sure my monitor's working, my Pro 700. Basically, this thing came off the track, came off the combine, so I need to basically switch it to general. So it thinks it's just looking for a receiver; it's not looking for anything else that like a tractor has. So I'm gonna try and switch this thing. So sorry if it's a bit loud, but basically what I did is I just changed it from a from a combine to a generic tractor, so it's not looking for anything else like any of the other like uh, can can buses or controllers on a machine. So I'll take the side by side that's hooked up with the GPS and go out and map all of our fields. I'll go into more of the big benefits with that a little bit later, but it's it's a really nice setup for us to have. Is to, it helps us control our input, so I can basically put the edge of our field and save pat plants a little bit wider, I spray a little bit wider, it'll automatically shut it off and save us key, seed and chemical and make sure we're not damaging anyone else's crops. I wonder what he has running. Alrighty, so Nathan has the 5088 running. I'm gonna go start the sprayer, see if that thing will start. We're actually gonna start up the chopper as well. Put the Gehringhoff corn head up in that corner there. Take the sprayer up to Kunal's and Preston so they can work on it. Yes, finally got it started. Here it is. All started. Finally, after waiting like 30 minutes. I mean, this thing's a little dusty. I'm just gonna check the oil, make sure there's enough engine oil, it's gonna get changed at Kunos, so it doesn't really matter too much. But. Ronald is currently checking the oil. Don't know if you guys can see that very well, but he's checking the oil. What do we have to take this up to? He's checking the oil. Let's start that. Now we'll hop in and see if it'll start. I'm betting she will. I'm confident. We've got to do it. I'm confident in the old girl. I think so too. Ooh, 11 volts. I don't know, we'll see. Woo! Fired right up. Not too shabby. We'll let this thing warm up and get rid of that other tractor out of the way. Yep. Those of you guys are wondering why we don't use the 5088 that much, because it has transmission issues right now. We gotta get it good. Yeah, it doesn't want to move very easily. But here's my Uncle Bun. Haven't seen him in a while. Okay, so right now, they're going to try and pull it with the pickup, the tractor, because it won't move, it has issues. So, we're going to get it hooked up. Keep going. Couple feet. Keep going. Foot. Good. All right. So, the 50 is moving. Not very easily, but uh, it's getting pulled. All right, in the sprayer, turn the lights on, and we'll try and back this puppy out. All right, we'll get this thing backed out. Okay, so Ronald is currently moving the sprayer. All right. Got the sprayer out, she is mighty dirty, but we're gonna take this thing uptown to Kunal's. Ready, Amber? Yep. All right. I'm ready. Whoa. Here we go. Would help if we're not in park. It's not that far. It's only about two minutes away. It's a big reason why we run this red equipment is because our dealer is really, really close. Let's head. No, we're not going that far. That's what's kind of nice about going to Kunal's. We're not going that far. Like oh, there's someone's lines. ball. Dude, we lost their dang darn ball again? Yeah, they lost their dang darn ball again. Hey look, it's my twin. 
Oh, he's actually getting on it too. <laughs> That's a 3330 that Eberhards have. We're here, Amber, aren't we? Yep. All right, Kunal implement. Yep. Okay. Now we made it. We made it, Amber. Yep. Go ahead and talk to the guys and then get picked up by Nathan. Yep. Oh, I got a door. Oh, it's so nice out up in town. Yeah, it is getting nice out. Man, this thing is dusty. And from cats crawling over it. Oof. I think it needs a spray. And yes, they do. Look right there. Ooh, that's fancy. Going to drop it off at our place? I appreciate it. So I dropped it off at Kunal's waiting for Nathan to come pick me up. The reason that we dropped it... Oh yeah, I can't forget about Amber. The reason we dropped it off here is we actually bought a new purchase. So they're going to be putting that on there. Put a guess in the comments what you guys think below. They're also, just because we bought it through them, we're going to be having them change our oils. There's three different oils you got to change in there. The gear increaser, hydraulic oil, and the engine oil on that. So they're going to change all of those and do some general maintenance on that thing. So it'll be good to have them do it because that way we can focus on finishing up our tillage, getting all the other equipment put away and swapped out. So that'll be kind of nice. Don't forget to comment. Of course, don't forget to comment. Yeah, don't forget to so I wasn't quite sure how to split this video up, guys. So I just, I had almost 50 minutes of footage today. So I'm just going to split this video right in half right now. Alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, ta-ta for now. Take care. Take it easy. Love you guys. See ya.